Hello everyone, welcome back to Dawn of War Dark Crusade Imperial Guard Hard Mode. And our ongoing struggles with uh, the Necrons here. Again, the saga is done post. So I'm watching the video and commenting on it. Yay! And see, we're still having to deal with um, enough attacks that if I am not careful, they will decimate the base. Like here, it doesn't seem like, oh, didn't do much, oh, didn't do much. But if in that animation, um, the game allowed a hit to go off, then there's some damage to one of the units. I uh, hear. I had to put this so far forward, it was ridiculous. Of my skin. But yeah, I'm getting ready to try and get a bane blade. But yeah, so. Uh, just of my skin. lightly hitting and lightly hitting and lightly hitting, and if I'm not paying attention, uh -huh. I can end up with um, a bad situation. Quite frankly. There we go. It's my duty to serve. Obviously, if I want a Bane Blade, I need to go after the Relic. If such is the Emperor's will. That's pretty much a given. New cult, sir. So, as far as I know, I haven't done it yet. I'm after. Uh, I will be getting a Chimera. To add in to the uh, chicken walkers to help transport. Um, very good, I'm prepping. <laughs> to help transport the um, squad so it happens a bit quicker. That does, I think that comes up. There was a big explosion there. I didn't catch it initially. They have an awakened monolith, which is big damage. That's a huge concern. We're under fire. That can absolutely devastate our base, without a doubt. Trying to hit the base over here. Now it's like work on their defenses. But those um, upgraded gauze turrets do so much damage against vehicles. And here the enemy comes in just swarming, just devastate. Those were destroyer lords and destroyers. Um, no, heavy destroyers, and those things just... They punch through hard on vehicle armor. They do good on against buildings and stuff, so you gotta be careful. So again, trying to take out some of the resources, uh, the base stuff, if they're not pulling in, well actually wait, they're not pulling in requisition here, this helps with the population count. Monolith is moving in on our base, which is obviously really bad news for us. Really, really bad news. I'm pulling the other chicken walkers out to come hit the uh, monolith. Um, the chicken walkers really, I should stop calling that, they are sentinels, but they, they really can't take a hit. They're a scout vehicle. 
but their weapon does really good damage against uh, against uh, vehicles as well as buildings. So they're cheap for a vehicle. They're good because right now I'm able to put them out at a pace that I can keep up with and uh, do some decent damage uh, to the enemy. Mainly the monolith. Now, remember, you don't have to destroy. You have to get it down to something like 20, 20 or 25%. And then it kind of, oh, I've taken too much damage and then pays back to its actual location. So you can't actually destroy it when it's awakened. You need to um, go back to the base and take it out. So we took some big hits. There we go. I have the uh, Chimera. Sentinels ready to deploy. And kill machine spirit on our safety. Why am I skilled? The number's odd. My the vehicle's 15 out of 20. I'm only noticing two basilisks, which is strange. Should be three. The artillery unit. Not a huge deal, really, when it comes down to it. For whatever reason, the numbers are the way they are. You requested a cycle, my girl. Sounds easy enough. I don't know. No, I haven't put the squad in there yet. I just got the um, Chimera as a additional vehicle that can shoot. That's really what it came down to. That blasted living metal always regenerated. Bunch of ice in uh, my cup. Which is not really a cup. Ah, there, see, we knocked it out. It is a one liter mason jar. Yes, one liter. My medication requires me to drink more water. So, here, we're mopping up. I think. What are you doing? No, we're not. Why aren't we? Maybe I did put it in and I just missed it. Let me, let me see the Chimera. Come on. Ah. Yeah, we're going for it because I thought I went for that first. Attack. The point that we just passed. Quite a bit of construction over in this area. Maybe I just want to capture the point right now. Or, no, not capture. Take away. That's it. There's only one relic point on this map, so taking it away means that the Necrons cannot uh, get a monolith out. Which is all kinds of good for us. Oh. I'm going to go try and hit the base. That's that. I remember doing that now, yes. It is hard to keep track at times if you do this post what order you do things in. So, unless if you 
do the post right after you record, which I did not do. It's been like a week, I think. But here we are trying to take out Station Air. We've already lost two. Yeah, three. Two or three, like, just rip through. So it, it's, it, it gets down to the point of if we can get one of the stationary buildings down, it'll be good times. Yes, repair, repair. You know what I mean? Just like needling you down, needling you down. And if you don't pay attention, that's kind of it. waiting on things here by the looks of it um heading to there okay are we going to wait no no we're not or do i change my mind no i don't change my mind okay what i go with it Really, what I should have done is the point that we're just passing. I should have taken that over. Then, like, took away the relic. I should be taking the relic instead of spending the time on these short attacks that really aren't going to do too much. We'll be off as soon as the field that was poor decision on my part. You've got. As soon as we the spirit. got a shot in. They do have some uh, we weapons and stuff spirit. like that. Spirits. Uh, close to that position where we come out, so. Focus on that. Oh, there goes one. And we got that one. That's good stuff. Choosing to forget about that um, resource point. Trying to get out of range there. Which I managed to do and put myself in range of another one. Not bad, huh? I guess my thought was, okay, well, we took out the monolith. It's probably still damaged. We should try and move on it. But we really didn't have the firepower to deal with the base and all the units that are going to come with and all that stuff. And there goes our uh, Chimera. Taking out the one resource that Necrons use, power.
which is a valid tactic. If we can get rid of that, obviously we'll have free reign on uh, a couple more buildings. If we can get rid of the a building that's just above the resource point one, that one allows for the Necron Lord to turn into the Nightbringer. And so it is certainly beneficial when Attacking a base is going to take a while. You can get rid of that ability sooner. You don't have to face it. base there, or that building there, that's the one that gives the, uh, uh, the special abilities, you know, like if they have the one of turn invisible, or if they have the one of like the stop time thing, um, all of those, you get rid of that, I believe it takes away those abilities. They'd have to build another one. Doesn't mean they can reselect, it just, you know, makes things just that much easier. That's always a good thing. As soon as we beseech the machine spirit. And there we have the actual monolith. Fully repair it. For how many hit points a monolith has? Three. Uh, let's use a proper name for them. Sentinels are doing a phenomenal amount of damage to it. So, even though they can't take a hit, never dismiss them. They do a lot of damage. Now, I don't know if my damage is actually reduced in hard mode. Possible it is, and if it is, think about how much three of these are doing to that monolith this quick. And how much it would do in, like, normal mode. Or easy, for that matter. Quite impressive. Split ends, split ends. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we almost got this. Not much really to comment on it, other than wow, a monolith looks cool. Yeah, really, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. There, see what I said about the needling and the damage and stuff? Because I had spent so much time uh, up there, I wasn't paying attention to here. And we were taking damage. Challenge worthy of my skin. So yeah, the Tomb Spider was getting off a hit every so often. 
but you just couldn't see it in the animation. And I took out a turret, so I'm building it slightly further away. Need to repair um, the bunker there. And I'll have to do a few other repairs. Now we couldn't see, but on the mini map, the um, the monolith has been destroyed, and we're now working on the energy core. Take that point away from them. Rather handy, but obviously we haven't gotten in. Um, player terminated message which means they put down another monolith that we will have to find right there and destroy but we still need to focus on this make sure this is done cleaned up got things going all that research really all I'm doing there there's no rhyme or reason to it but it's more of let's get it done and we only have one attacking it right now they're working on the other I think they just got it, so all of them should be attacking the monolith now. I think I was waiting for the player over. Player terminated. It's not happening. Well, the red blip is gone. But still no player terminated. There we go. It basically plopped down another really do hate that. Like, computer? No. I've beaten you. It's time to let go. It doesn't want to. Now, let's see. We're still working on it. So it's like, you can tell it's, it's, it's almost like I, I'm, I'm relaxing. Now, so, some of the troops, um, I don't know if you caught that, but the red bar was actually going up. Because it was uh, getting built. Anyways. Um, moving that force into uh, position. Where's our fire support? The three that are moving, they're going to. Uh, where are they going? To, um, I. I think I'm bringing them in. Yeah, I'm going to bring them in here. Just need a little bit more firepower. Possibly. Make it go a tiny bit faster. It's still no player defeated. So I'm going to move them right up into there. And I'll move these three in to that position. Where are those damn tech priests? 
Once we get the new ones in there. Is that the best you've got? They're under attack from a resource tower. The obelisk, that's the word. And there we can see another base. Lots of scarabs. Come on. Oh, we lost our Chimera. Get rid of the scarabs if we can. No, we can't. Awaiting instruction. Well, those three are kind of attacking a creature summoning core. Probably just, it's like, go away, get rid of it, don't want you here, that kind of thing. And now we have five of them. It should do a pretty good job of getting rid of a player. I hope. We're getting close to the end of the video, so I'm pretty sure we uh, take that out. Let's see. Yeah. Just a couple more minutes here. So. I'm going to wrap up the commentary um, after this is destroyed. Where's our fire support? I do believe that gets rid of player. No, we've got one more. Now they snuck into one of the two players. You want My devotion is assured. Shoot the scabs, they're trying to rebuild the entire base. Come on, come on. Well, you know what? Let's wrap this up because we're getting close to the end. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to the channel, you can do the whole subscribing thing with bell notifications and all of that. There's also a couple of links in the description down below should you wish to check that out. Player destroyed. Player defeated. There we go. But until next we meet, please do be safe, everyone.